Welcome to the first installment of Poetry, Prose, and Prompts with Jessie Lynn McMains. I'm hoping for this to be a bi-weekly series, but it might sometimes only be once a month because sometimes life gets in the way. So what this series is, is every episode or installment, I will talk about and share a piece or a few pieces of poetry or prose and then give you a writing prompt inspired by the pieces that I shared. Today, the prompt and the piece come from On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about this book because this year is the 60th anniversary of when it was first published, and it marks the 20th anniversary of when I first read it. And this is the very same copy that I bought 20 years ago. If you look closely, you can see it's all worn around the edges and uh, pages are kind of yellowed, lots of things underlined, because I have read it, I don't know, approximately 30 times in the past 20 years. And, you know, I usually pick this book as my favorite when someone asks me what my favorite book is. Well, truth be told, it's impossible for me to pick just one favorite. Um, and I wouldn't even, at this point in my life, I wouldn't even consider it the best novel of all time or anything like that. And obviously I'm well aware of the problematic aspects of, you know, Jack Kerouac and the Beats in general, but the reason I say it's my favorite is because it was one of the most formative books for me. I can honestly say that if I had not read this book at the age of 15, my writing style would probably be different, and I might be a different person. Uh, or at least I would have had to take a different path to become the person I am today. So I'm going to share with you the final, famous final paragraph of On the Road, and I'm sure you've heard it before, but as far as I'm concerned, it is one of the most beautiful pieces ever written. So in America, when the sun goes down, and I sit on the old broken down river pier watching the long, long skies over New Jersey and sense all that raw land that rolls in one unbelievable huge bulge over to the west coast, and all that road going, and all the people dreaming in the immensity of it. And in Iowa, I know by now the children must be crying in the land where they let the children cry. And tonight the stars will be out, and don't you know that God is Pooh Bear? The evening star must be drooping and shedding her sparkler dims on the prairie, which is just before the coming of complete night that blesses the earth, darkens all rivers, cups the peaks, and folds the final shore in, and nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen to anybody besides the forlorn rags of growing old. I think of Dean Moriarty. I even think of old Dean Moriarty, the father we never found. I think of Dean Moriarty. So my writing prompt for you today is to think of that paragraph and then uh, think of either, well, if you're writing, you know, fiction or nonfiction, well, obviously you can blur the lines, but you'll know what I'm talking about. Think of yourself or your main, or, you know, your character, your original character, um, whoever your, who's, whoever's point of view you're using for, for this prompt. And, well, imagine, you know, think of a place where you like to sit or have often sat or where your character does the same thing and, you know, really, uh, like write down or think of 
the details about the place, like, you know, he's sitting, Sal Paradise, and on the road is sitting at sunset, and he's sitting on a broken down river pier um, in New York City watching, you know, looking out over the skyline of New Jersey. So where would you or your character be sitting? What, are you, what can you see from where you're sitting? And what time of day is it? You know, think of all those kind of details. And then think of what you or your character would be thinking about if you were sitting in this place at this time. Um, you know, who or what, obviously, Jack is thinking about, or Sal is thinking about the road and about Dean Moriarty. So, you know, once you have all that, um, you know, jotted down or in your mind, write a piece of poetry or prose um, from that. And that's all for this time, and I'll catch you on the flip side.